Hey everybody, it's Margaret and welcome to my channel, Texas Gal Treasures. In today's video, I am going to share with you one mug. I <laughs> went to Goodwill the other day and as you can see, there were so many mugs, like three rows full of mugs or shelves. And I do go through um, and I create a video, I haven't um, finished editing it yet, where I share all the different mugs here, not all of them, but um, which ones would have been good pickups. But I only end up buying one mug. And so I wanted to talk to you guys about what my process was and why I only ended up buying one, even though there were some mugs in this um, Goodwill that, that were selling for a really good profit, but I only bought one. So I'll share with you the one that I picked up. And if you are new here, I'd like to welcome you. My name is Margaret. I am a stay-at-home homeschool mom that flips things on eBay to help support my family. And one of the things I like to sell are mugs because they're quick, they're easy, and you can usually get them for cheap except for at certain thrift stores when they are going crazy with their prices. Okay, so let's dive into this. So here are the three rows and I wanted to share with you part of the video clip which I'm going to edit later so you can see which mug I pick up and then I'll talk to you a little bit about why some of the other mugs did not make the cut. Okay, so here I am. This is the one I end up picking up. It's this Pocahontas mug, Disney Parks, and it was $1.99. And I just want to show, okay, it goes right in the cart. Okay, so there's that mug, and the reason that I, oh, did I forget to share? Hang on, I don't know if I created a window for my eBay solds. Let's see, where are you? I had everything set up, you guys know how this happens sometimes. There it is, okay. Um, so, there were, and again, I'm going to share with you guys later the different mugs that I saw while I was there. But some of the mugs that they wanted, like there were a couple of Starbucks mugs that were selling for a very good profit online, but they wanted $5 a mug at this Goodwill for these Starbucks mugs, which was just out of control. So, hello everybody in the chat. Hello, hello. Um, so I found one mug that I was able to pick up to flip. And let me find my... I found looking for the window there it is okay so the the pocahontas mug first of all these are ones that are up that are not for or that are still for sale so not all pocahontas mugs are a good pickup but as you can see and it all has to do with the amount you can buy it for so the some of the starbucks mugs which i'll share again like i said i'll share the me going through that thrift store there were some really good mugs that if they had been a quarter or 50 cents you know that buy-in price has a lot to do with the return on investment so some of these I personally if I'd seen them out for a quarter would have picked up I, I like a good $15 flip but this Pocahontas mug here this Disney Parks Pocahontas it says follow your own path mug was um, selling for around $25 so I felt comfortable paying two dollars for this mug however I mean look this one's up for $32.90 do you guys know, are they remaking Pocahontas like they're doing the rest? I can't wait for Mulan, by the way. Okay, let's take a peek at Solds. So there are a couple other ones here that, you know, if you see a Pocahontas mug out there, definitely, you know, have that on your radar because there are a few. Like here's one, I think this this one may be a color changing one, the one that's got the leaves all around her. But here's one that sold. That uh, is the one that I picked up, the follow your own path, the big orange one. Um, so here's a whole set. Okay, that's a few different ones. Um, and here's another one that sold for $32.90. This one is being sold with free shipping. I don't do free shipping. That's just me. I put it. I do a padded flat rate usually. This one's kind of big, so I may have to double check that before I list it because I'm not sure it'll go in my six by four by four. It's a pretty big one. But um, here's another Pocahontas and John Smith for $19.99. There are a few others, you know, like. I can't remember the Omiko, the raccoon, that are meh on the price. They're so so. But again, if I saw it for a quarter, I'd probably pick it up because everybody's got a different business model as far as what's a good flip, you know. And I don't mind a eight, ten dollar flip on a mug. That's pretty easy. So here we let's see. I thought I saw another one in here, but maybe not. But as you can see, the few that are there. We're selling for a really good, you know, $25 to $30. And then the few that are still up there 
are also selling for, they have them priced at about that same price point. So be on the lookout. The one that I'm seeing that's not going very well is this like cartoony, like, over, like just this, this one right here. It looks kind of just like a, a shot from the cart, the movie. So that's the only one that I've seen that's just kind of like seven to ten dollars. But all the rest of them look like, okay, if I see a Pocahontas mug, then that might be something I pick up. This one too, the brown terracotta looking one, it's it's doing okay, but not like I'm saying some of these $25 ones are, are doing a little bit better. So that is what I wanted to share with you guys. Let me flip back to it. This is another one that I'm going to look for. But yeah, as you see, here's one with her and John Smith that's just the like a scene from the movie. I don't know what you call it, like a still from the movie that maybe wasn't doing quite as well. But again, when you're out and about, keep an eye out for um, Disney Park mugs, this one in particular, Pocahontas. And maybe we'll do a dive in one day where we'll just sit and look at all the different uh, Disney Park mugs that we might want to be on the lookout for because they're out there and I find them fairly frequently. So let me, um, I am going to say hey in the chat real fast. And if you're watching now, uh, make sure you go and hit the like button whether you're watching live or watching later, and leave me a comment and let me know if you have flipped any Disney mugs or Disney Park mugs and which ones you found to be a good profit. And very soon I will have the mug video for you guys that uh, where I go through all of the rest. Let me see if I can find the picture of it again. Uh, oh, that's my basket. <laughs> where I go through and I share all the rest of these mugs, not all of them, but a lot of them. And there were some really good ones, yeah. Okay, let's see. Hello, Kush. Uh, I'm gonna say Loia. I think hi, Thrifting Phoenix. Hello, hello. Thank you so much. I'm glad I'm helping. And if you've got questions, then definitely let me know because I aim to help. Because you know this is this is what we can do to help support our families. And those I know I get a lot of comments and things from other families that are either stay-at-home moms or homeschoolers or you know, retirees that, you know, they're trying to make a little bit extra to make those, uh, page, not paychecks, but whatever other means of income you've got stretch a little bit further. So that's what we're doing here. Um, hello, picky chick and busy Lizzie and Mario. Thanks for coming. Angel and Deepak and Diane have a ticker. I don't think I have a ticker one. What are my, um, Campbell's Soup mugs Mary's asking about? I would have to look them up because my initial response would be like, oh, they're a dime a dozen. But things change, and so I would have to look it up because there might be some that are worth uh, picking up. I'm going to, I'll do a quick, I have time real fast. We've got stuff we're doing, but why don't we just type it in real fast and see. So this is what I do. Like if I'm like, hmm, I've seen a lot of Campbell's Soup mugs out, I'll, I'll come over and I'll type in. Let me do it, Campbell Soup Kids mug, just to see, like, okay, what's out there? I mean, I feel like they're a dime a dozen because I see them all the time, but these are solds. Are there any solds? Here's what I'm doing. I'm looking at solds. Let's do solds over $15 and see if we see anything. Mm, I mean, it looks like if you've got a lot of them, that maybe that would be a good one. This one looks kind of cute. It's like a big face, right? So maybe something like that where it's like the, the face of the Campbell Soup Kid, like almost three-dimensional but not quite. So there's that one that sold for 21 I don't personally like to do lots of mugs because I just, I, I just don't personally. See, here she is again, or he, I can't tell, eighteen ninety nine. So maybe that one would be a good one to look out for because the others, I do see them out there a lot. But then again, if I picked up for one for a quarter and sold it for $16, I, I wouldn't be upset with that. I would be okay. So yeah, looks like the ones that are their f like faces up close are maybe ones that would do a little bit better. But the rest, meh. Seem like meh. <laughs> okay. So let me peek in the chat again. And yeah I do it and that that's one of the things like if I see a lot of them it, it kind of makes me go mm, I wonder maybe they're just really saturated the, the market with those so um Jenny says oh mugs my favorite and <laughs> after Christmas yes and Jenny has a, a group Jenny drop in the in the chat what the name of your mug group is because there's a lot of good information in there as well 
as far as as selling mugs and people sharing and sharing bolos and stuff like that. Let's see. I'm going to peek in one more time before I say bye. Um, <laughs> Julie says, hi, my favorite weirdo. Hey, how's it going? Let's see. Oh, no, feel better. Uh, da -da -da. Yeah, I quit picking up Campbell's Soup mugs. And there were some Christmas mugs I all that were in this at this Goodwill that I almost picked up, but then I didn't. Thrifting Phoenix says, how do you feel about retail arbitrage? I can't decide if I should focus more on retail arbitrage or stick with garage sales and estate sales and thrifting. I guess it depends. Um, if you're fine, like I know people that go around and buy stuff up that maybe doesn't sell in your area, but does sell in other people's areas. I don't want to say what they do because it's somebody who lives near me that I thrift around and I don't want to do that to them. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, I mean, there's that and they do flip it on eBay or if you're selling on Amazon, cause I don't do Amazon anymore. So that's another, another, um, thing to think about. So it could be a good, if you go to clearance aisles and pick up stuff that's not, let's say, you know, if they're selling skis here in Texas, well, they're not going to sell so hot or snow suits. You know what I mean? <laughs> Honestly, I never see those. So, but that would be something I would think, Hmm, I'm going to pick that up and flip it if it's on clearance. Yeah. Um, Etsy. Yeah. I sell mugs on Etsy as well. If they're vintage, definitely. And, oh yeah, I don't photograph clothes. I, I quit selling clothes for that very reason. Yes. Jenny says, Mug of the Week is my new Facebook page for mug sharing and info on mugs that sell. Yay! Um, give mugs and hugs, Mario says. Okay, thank you so much for watching, everybody. And this is a kind of a short one, but I have got this other video, the mug one that I'm going to edit out for you guys. And we'll, I'll do my, you know, where I go through and I'm showing the video. And then as we go along, I'll stop it to do the the research, you know, as we're going, like, you know how I do, precious moments, whatever. I'll stop and then share with you guys what I'm looking at, why I looked at it, why I picked it up, why I didn't pick it up, that kind of thing. Um, and it's a long one, so I might have to bust it up into two videos because, like I said, there were some really good ones there that if they hadn't been $5 a mug, I would have picked them up, but by that really eats into the return on investment. So darn and the, and I was really this weekend I went out garage sailing and went to estate sales and I was really hoping you know you have those weekends where you just find a lot of mugs or find a lot of one particular item and this is the weekend I was really hoping that I found more mugs at garage sales but I didn't I don't even think I found one now that I'm looking at my haul my pile over there that I need to share with you guys Julie says, old advertising mugs do well too. Shops, Dunkin' Donuts, businesses, totally. A friend of mine, I think I shared this the other day, a friend of mine bought um, his wife a vintage Waffle House mug because I remember when we were all in college together, we would all go out to the Waffle House, 24-hour Waffle House, and, you know, she was super happy with her Waffle House mug. <laughs> All right, everybody, um, go down there. Like I said, leave a comment about any, maybe any mug you've sold lately or any Disney mugs you've sold ever and what you think that we should be looking out for. And if you've got any suggestions or questions, then leave those in the comments as well because I am taking questions for mugs and for anything reselling related. All right, I hope you guys have a really great evening and I will see you soon. And I just realized I'm doing this differently. So I don't know how to, ah, there it is. Okay, found the button. Have a really great evening and I will talk to you guys most likely tomorrow. Bye.